Kirsten from the University of Lethbridge Art Gallery. And in today's Culture Vulture at Home, we're going to be doing bubble printmaking. They're beautiful and it's a lot of fun. Hope you enjoy. For this activity, you will want some containers, maybe a bowl or a cup. Different sizes are great. Shallow ones work really great. You will also want some dish soap or hand soap. Any type works. If you have paint at your house, you can use paint or you can use food coloring. I'm going to be using a combination of both today because I like to experiment. You also want some straws. You can use your reusable straws if you have some. And some paper. I'm using white cardstock. It's a little bit thicker so it won't wrinkle as much when it gets wet. You'll also need a rag or an old towel, maybe some paper towel, because this can get a little bit messy, and some water. Alright, so we want to start by preparing our area that we can work. Make sure you have some old clothes on that if they get food coloring on, it won't be a big deal. You can put down an old towel or a rag or a tablecloth, and we'll get started. I'm going to start with this container. And I'm going to add a lot of dish soap, like a big squirt and another big squirt. The more dish soap and the less water you have, the more bubbles you'll have. And then I'm going to add a small splash of water. And feel free to experiment with it. If you're not getting a lot of bubbles the first time, you can add more dish soap. If the bubbles are too crazy, you could add more water. All right, there's our soap and water mixture. And then you will add a color. I'm going to start with some blue food coloring. You want probably between 10 and 20 drops. Again, it depends on how vibrant you want your colors to be. Feel free to experiment with it. Give it a good mix with your straw or a paintbrush. And there we have our basic water, soap, and pigment mixture. You could add some paint if you want. Let's try the food coloring on its own first. All right, now the fun part. Take your straw and blow into the end, just like when you were young and you would blow bubbles in your milk, just like that. see I have splatter everywhere already getting messy. Then you're going to take your paper and smoosh it on top of the bubbles. Smoosh. And you'll start to get some bubble prints. If you have bubbles that are still on the surface like this one, you can pop them. Boop. Or they can pop on their own when they're drying. And now you do it again. I'm going to add a little more water and a little more soap. I find it works good if your container is about half full or more with liquid and then the other half leaves room for your bubbles to build up over top. Give it a good mix. I'm going to add some more because I want my colors to be really vibrant. And then you blow again. Whoa! 
bubble mountain. And take your paper and smoosh it on top of the bubbles. Squish. Nice. Sometimes it's really subtle. Sometimes it's more bold. And that all depends on the amount of bubbles that landed on your paper and the amount of pigment or paint that you had in your water. The idea is you just keep layering it up. until you get a composition that you like. I won't gonna add some bubbles on this side, so I'm just gonna dip this corner of the paper in. And then this corner. Pretend the bubbles are your paintbrush. <laughs> All right, now let's add some other colors. In this one, I make soap water, this pinkish food dye, and also some red paint. You can see how the color is more opaque when you add paint and not just food dye. I think it feels like it needs a bit more soap though. All right, here we go. This is why you need a rag underneath, because the bubbles can spill over top like crazy. I'm gonna start another piece of paper. Squish. Ooh, very pretty pink. Just keep building up the layers. And you could combine colors. My blue one is mostly dry now, so I'm gonna add some paint. You could scoop the bubbles up if you want. Blow them across your page. This is the fun part, is that you get to play with bubbles. Pop, pop. It's fun to make a lot at once with this activity. Lean in and blow the best bubbles. Ooh, very nice. All right, I also made a yellow. Let's try the yellow. I found my yellow food coloring didn't show up very good, so I mixed yellow paint in with this one. But again, it's up to you. I am getting so messy, and I love it. All right, here we go. Whoa, overflowing. Yellow ones are definitely the hardest to see. So you need to add lots of layers. Wow, so cool. I think I'm gonna add some yellow to this pink one I did earlier. Here we go. It's just like smooshing the bubbles with your paper. <laughs> and don't worry, if you have crazy amount of bubbles, you could pop them, or you can just leave it and they'll pop on their own and dry. All right, let's try mixing some colors. So I have my yellow bubbles here that I'm kind of done with. Let's try adding some blue paint to them. Mm. 
maybe if I mix yellow and blue, I will get green bubbles. You could even partially mix it so you have partially blue and partially yellow and some green in the middle. Ooh, let's try that. Here we go. Ooh. Almost like tie-dye looking. Get on there, Bubbles! You could place Bubbles with your straw, like you're painting with them. It's up to you. Wow. Alright, let's try mixing another color. Let's add some blue to my red to try to make purple. Alright. Just add a little bit of blue this time. I want a very light purple. And to make it extra vibrant, let's add some more red. Reddish pink, actually. Food coloring. And if you've been using the same bowl for a while and it starts to feel like there's not many bubbles anymore, you can always add more soap. Squirt. And just mix it in. And then you're ready to go again. If it's a nice day out, this will be a great activity to do outside in your backyard because then you can make a huge mess and not get it all over your table like I have. My towel is looking really pretty though. Alright, let's try this. Ooh, a very nice bubble mountain. Alright, maybe I'll layer it on top of my yellow one. Oops, got a thumbprint. Here we go. Squish. It's fun to hear the bubbles pop. Ooh, I got a nice circle shape. And I got that circle shape because I pressed it right on the rim of the bowl. Get when they overflow. Makes it lots of fun. This is really relaxing. Awesome. All right. So experiment with it. Try different combinations of paint or food dye. Try different colors. Try layering different colors on top of each other. Just don't drink out of the straw, it'll taste bad. Yuck. Have fun with it. All right, so I've cleaned up my area and let my prints dry a little bit. And I've got some amazing artworks. Look at this one. I don't know which way it goes, but I love it. Beautiful. Then I also got some really great little ones. I love that all of them are a little bit different and unique. So cool. So I thought I might draw on some of them. If you like them how they are, please leave them. They are beautiful artworks all on their own. If you have some that maybe aren't your favorite, add on to them. This one reminds me of outer space, so I think I'm going to draw this 
some planets. So you could draw on top of them to make them more interesting artworks. You could make them into a greeting card for a friend. You could put them to decorate your room. Give one to a loved one or family member. Here's my little space themed one. And then these soft pink ones. I like them on their own, but I think I want to make them into something else. I think I'm going to add some scribbly flowers. What else should I do? I know. We'll make one into a greeting card. Feel free to create on top of your bubble art. You can make a greeting card, some drawings. If you have a notebook with a sad cover, you could wrap this around your notebook. And glue it on to make a cool book cover. Possibilities are endless. All right. I hope you enjoyed making bubble art with us. I had a lot of fun and I got some beautiful artwork out of it. We'll see you next time. Bye. We hope you enjoyed making bubble prints. They look so cool and they're so much fun to make. Next month we'll have another video with another craft that you can do at home. And we hope you guys stay safe and make lots of art. Bye.